Hey, what's up guys? Double Sup in here, ready to play another game of Civilization VI. Welcome back to the adventure. We are sitting well over 250 subscribers at the time of editing this video, and I just want to say how grateful I am to every single one of you. And if you want to support this channel, please hit that like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit subscribe. Last episode, we managed to take all of Arabia's cities, and this episode, we will be working on picking up our research labs and eventually our spaceports. Now, one thing that I was hoping to do as well is turning my sights onto France, taking a few of her cities, especially the city of Lyon, which has the Kilwa Kisilwani, which will allow us to have access to a 15% production boost across our entire empire and potentially a 15% culture boost and faith boost. Oh, wait, Nazca got killed. Shit. Well, at least a culture boost. This episode is going to be about micromanaging our units over there. I am going to edit that part out and, uh, you know, picking up some infrastructure throughout our empire and so on and so forth and getting ready for a little more war. Finished an archaeological museum in Ziz. It would be nice to actually pick up my own religion in some of my other cities. And I think it's time that we finally launch an inquisition. So I'm going to pick up an apostle. We're going to launch an inquisition next turn. And I'm going to start sending inquisitors across the water and start converting some of my cities like this whole island here. It's mostly where it was Hinduism. I guess it's starting to convert now. Yeah. These cities are going to convert at least from pressure. Cities like Lixis and Ziz needs to be converted as well so that I can take advantage of my own religion. Not only that, we have we have uh, Tithe as well, which means that we get three gold for each city following our religion. So we want to maximize our gold. We want to take advantage of Jesuit education, especially because we're on our way to picking up research labs so that we can buy research labs with faith because we're starting to gain quite a bit of faith here. Now, since I'm going to go for spaceports, uh, I think what I'm going to do is centralize my trade routes somewhere that has pretty good production. Tyre seems to have really good production. We do have an industrial zone planned out here as well. It wouldn't be bad to pick that industrial zone up. We also have an industrial zone in KTY, so we might pick up a spaceport in here as well. But we have the Venetian arsenal, and I want to make use of having that Venetian arsenal to build a little bit of a navy so that when we do war, stuff we could just build double the navy so i think i'm going to start centralizing my trade routes into tire and i'm going to plan to build my spaceport in here which makes me want to actually pick up a neighborhood in here after we pit finished the ferris wheel so that we can get extra population and grow the city big enough to pick up an industrial zone so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to lock that in we'll finish the ferris wheel we'll go ahead and finish the ferris wheel but we will pick up a neighborhood and then eventually we're going to pick up a spaceport right here and in here we could pick up the um or sorry in the neighborhood we could pick up the food market once we pick up replaceable parts which is one of the technologies that we are on our way to picking up next we do have two line of tree here though and one musketman here if i do upgrade him I will boost replaceable parts because as some of you may know, it is no longer owning three musketmen that boost this. It is owning three line infantry. Our spy is back in the capital now that we've taken Baghdad because the spy was sitting in Baghdad giving us combat strength through intel. And I think now we should think about where we want to put the spy in France. Now, I am going to take the city of Lyon probably first. Then it's probably going to be uh, Nantes, Toulouse, and Paris. Paris is going to be the hardest city to take since there's only one tile that we can attack from. I guess we can send battleships over there and start blasting away on Paris. So maybe I should put this spy in Nantes right here. Perfect. And we'll uh, set up a listening post in there so that we can take advantage of that. We do have a settler over here. I'm not 100% sure. Is this the settler that we lost last episode? I think it is because we killed the caravel that took the settler with the privateer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a heavy chariot. And I'm going to chase this settler down uh, so that we can get it back. So we've boosted class struggles. I guess we have a third factory somewhere, and I think that was in KTY. Yes, it is. Now, we're not really powering KTY yet. 
I'm hoping to actually pick up electricity so that we can start building oil power plants. Now, one of the things that we are doing this episode is we have sent a settler through the water with a privateer on a mission to settle uh, near Venice so that we can actually take advantage of all of this oil here. So one thing that we are going to want to do is once we pick up economics, we can swing over to electricity and then replaceable parts into chemistry as well it wouldn't be so bad to pick up plastic since all this oil is in the water so maybe what we should do is we should do economics electricity into plastics into chemistry so magnus has finally settled in kty we finished our factory i think i'm just going to start spamming out battleships out of here two at a time cathedrals finish in Lixis, this city doesn't have much to build. A water park wouldn't hurt for some amenities. So we'll start working on that now. Let's get our settler back. Perfect. So we've centralized our trade routes. Uh, it doesn't look like we can actually trade with, oh, we can trade with Canada. I'm gonna pick the Ottawa trade route because that's an extra for production. We should be picking a more trade route soon. I think we're working on a lighthouse over here. That's gonna be an extra trade route there. In some of our newly conquered cities, we're gonna be probably picking up more trade routes as well. So things are gonna go really well. So let's launch an inquisition. Plus one error score. Excellent. Let's start picking up some inquisitors. We're going to send them overseas. I should probably pick up like, so there's economics. We're starting to work on electricity. It's going to give us access to the seaport, the hydroelectric dam, oil power plants, and submarines. Now submarines do require oil, so we're not going to be able to build submarines yet. Looks like we have a couple of battleships here. Let's combine them now. I'm almost to the point that I'm ready to declare war on her. Now, if I cast this belly, I could declare holy war. You know what? Why don't we do that now? We're going to take 50 grievances for that, which is not terrible. I'm going to bring my battleship over. You can come over. Shoot with the battleship. Shoot with the privateer. We'll start working on Leon now. We're two turns away from uh, our alliance finishing with Canada, which means we can uh, hopefully switch over to a cultural alliance. Actually, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. What kind of alliances does she have with these two people? Hopefully it's true. Uh, we'll find out. So Barut has finished a battleship. We have room for another trader. I do want to pick up traders in the capital. I'm going to centralize those trade routes here for the production. And we're just going to continue to, well, we don't really need more Navy. I mean, we're working on battleships with the city with the Venetian arsenal. Probably not a bad idea to pick up a neighborhood in one of our cities. And this tile is fine need a little more housing in here as well the only problem is is if we crush one of these tiles it's going to seriously handicap our food production but we could build a food market in here with the technology replaceable parts now we do have reina in hatton and we used her to buy this this uh campus which isn't a terrible idea uh but i think I, I think i'm ready to move her around i would like to place her in a district that does not have a campus like carthage so Reina's going into Carthage and we're just going to buy our, our campuses. I don't know if fascism was the best choice. I'm kind of thinking we might switch off of that once we pick up Cold War. Maybe what we want to do is we want to pick up communism because that's going to give us 10% science and extra production. And then we can use that science and production to go th through the tech tree to get to the spaceport. Um, fascism is fine for now because we are in a war and I, you know, fascism is good for war, I guess. <laughs> Another trade route finished in Byblos, centralizing it into Tyre is the plan. Now we are building this very useful canal in Medina. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a military engineer so that we can finish that even sooner. And then we can send this navy through there instead of going all the way around this island looks like the gull are offering me great work of writing for some oranges and some diplo favor that sounds good to me my friend we should start saving up our gold because once we pick up electricity and once we pick up combustion and plastic we are going to go for chemistry and then eventually rocketry and I do want to just purchase my spaceport with Reina since it's much easier. And we're already on turn 226. So this is around the time when some of these AIs will start building 
Spaceports doesn't look like they have, or they haven't even researched rocketry as well. So we're 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 in good shape. We're in, we're doing just fine. All right, let's take a shot on Leon. Beautiful. I'm gonna pillage. I thought, why can't I pillage this? Is it because I'm standing on it, or they haven't improved it? That doesn't make sense. Uh, but we will pillage his campus or her campus, picking up electricity. Now we have access to the oil power plant. Now. Uh, if I was a smarter man, I would have actually unlocked the plastic technology first because having access to the oil power plant doesn't do anything for me until I have access to plastics. But I guess I haven't settled my little oil city yet anyway. Pillage the campus over here. Extra 157 science, just like that. Now we have access to aerodromes. Not a bad idea to place one or two of these things. And this farm is pretty much useful or useless. So we're gonna put, place an aerodrome here. We're gonna start building uh, some planes in here. Now we finished our first battleship out of KTY automatically getting two. So why don't we go ahead and combine? We could pick up a, a seaport in here and that would give us access to building armadas immediately. Not a bad idea. I'm gonna start working on that. I'll delete the battleship that we have queued up and we'll just start building battleship armadas straight up. Another charge from the military engineer finishing the first canal in our empire. Now we can run boats through with ease. Love this canal, man. This is probably one of the most useful canals that I've built. So with the canal finished in here, we can also start printing uh, armies and such out of here because we do have a military engineering, not a military engineer, military academy in here harassier armies why don't we start working on that we're gonna settle a pretty terrible city here but the only reason we're settling this city is so that we can build a a coffin and b we can build a campus here so and a coffin will go here that is fine so why don't we start building things like the granary monument and we'll place down the coffin right here Boom. Inquisitors made it to Sanaa. We're going to uh, get rid of the old religion. We're going to do the same thing in Cairo next turn. Now we have successfully stolen the boost for satellites. Fantastic. And it looks like our alliance has run out with Canada. I'm going to declare friendship with them. And I will see if he's willing to take a cultural alliance. He's not willing to take a cultural alliance. That is unfortunate. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to grab a research alliance again. Uh, because we do like having a research alliance with him. It grants us quite a lot of science. Finished a neighborhood entire. Excellent. Uh, we haven't picked up replaceable parts yet. Not a bad idea to pick up Royal Society, though. Clearing the religion or the old religion in Cairo for now. And we're going to head into Damascus. Do the exact same thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's step off of here with the Bombard. We'll start rolling up with the Bombard army. The reason why is because I don't want to get shot by this encampment. We're going to take a couple of shots on this Leon. First, I'm going to put Matthew Stan or what? Who's this? Matthew Perry over here. And we're going to take shot extra five combat strength this is going to make a little bit of a difference. And we're just going to attack Leon weakening the city pretty well. We can get a Pillage off here, giving us steel. Next technology is going to be combustion into plastic. And we are going to pillage this campus here and this campus over here. Now, do we have, we don't have the raid card in. I should probably unlock it, put total war in here so that we could take advantage of that raid card. Then pillage the campus, boom. Pillage the holy site for a little bit of faith. There is a caravel here. The caravel is not going to do anything to us because we are way more powerful than they. Ripping down Nance's defenses. Why don't we just roll by the caravel? We can take a shot on him just like so. I don't know where he's going with the settler or she's going with the settler, but hopefully we can get uh, pick it up. Let's settle our city on the only productive tile of this area, which is fine. The only reason we have this city actually here is the only reason is for the oil. So once we pick up plastics, we'll start buying every single one of the tiles. Matter of fact, we should probably buy those tiles now while they're still cheap. So there's one, two, there's a couple of oils we could take advantage of once we pick up plastics. Um, we will go ahead and grab a monument place down a coffin here looks like montreal finished the statue of liberty so we got to keep in mind wilfred laurier is on its way on his way to uh winning a 
diplomatic victory. So we might have to go to war with him later on in the series. But for now, we will just rip down his neighbor. We can actually kill Leon now. Boom. Let's keep the city. City has a very, very bad loyalty. We need to start switching out governor. So we're going to place Amani there. That's going to still rebel in four turns, unfortunately. But now we have access to the Kilwa. Having access to the Kilwa means that uh, if I have two suzerains of the industrial type or cultural type or any type, I get 15% of that bonus across my entire empire. So right now I'm getting a 15% boost of production across my entire empire. So we want to start taking cities very fast because this city is constantly going to flip and the next on the chopping block has to be Toulouse so that we can get that, uh, we can get this on this going. So let's keep pillaging campuses. Boom. Probably not a bad idea to actually send some inquisitors over here as well so that we can just automatically convert the cities to our own religion and that's going to help out a lot with this loyalty problem. Now we could probably take the city of Nantes, no problem, but I think I have a spy on its way to Nantes. So I think we're just gonna keep the city at low health for a little while until we've taken Paris, Toulouse, and we've, uh, you know, built a little bit of a muscle of loyalty in France. So for now, we're not gonna take the city. Uh, we might pillage some of its boats for a little bit of health. Okay, we finally converted Cairo. That is a plus four error score. Now it's finally uh, following our religion, which is great. Uh, we're going to do the same thing to Damascus. Boom. Well, not quite. Not quite yet, but we, we're working on it. Finished a spy in Ziz. Let's use the spy. Is there any commercial hubs available? There is finally a commercial hubs that we can start stealing gold. We're going to start stealing gold from Kublai. I'm going to get a friendship with Pachacuti in case he wants to declare war on me. He is very far technologically. As a matter of fact, I think he's top science, which he is. He's also top culture, but we should be fine. Not sure why you showed up on my stream. Good luck and best wishes. Thank you, Sam Kim. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Uh, why don't we continue to steal tech boosts? Boom. Bombard did just take a massive hit here. Uh, maybe if I can pillage for a little bit of health. Uh, we can do like that. Now we could switch some cards around as well. One of the cards I did want to plug in is the International Waters, which is going to give me 100% production towards all naval units. Uh, which means we would have to plug out a car. Now, Levy on Mass is a great car, don't get me wrong, but International Waters, 100% production towards battleships would be massive right now. I want to pillage this mine. Boom, a little bit of extra gold. No problemo. You park here, taking shots on Toulouse. You come forward. I would like to get you a little bit further away if I can. So you're going to go here, there, shoot. Come forward here, shoot. Would be nice if these Inquisitors would move their asses over here to convert the city a little bit faster, but that's all right. We'll place the campus. Why don't we place the campus on the snow tile and then we might be able to potentially build the Amazon Scott Research Lab later on. Now, it would be nice to actually purchase these with faith once our religious religion is kind of settled over here. So why don't we start working on a shipyard? Now, Reyna can be switched to a different city and I think I'm going to switch Reyna over to the capital. The reason is, is because I want to buy, buy a spaceport in here. Now, we are quite a ways away from picking up spaceport technology. But the thing is, is we have to save up quite a bit of gold to make this work. So for the next little while, I'm not going to spend any gold if I can help it. And I'm going to have to start pillaging some of these mines so that I can get a little bit of extra gold. Okay, we finally made it to Nantes. And this is the city where I'm going to do the listening post. So I'm not going to take this city until I have Paris and Toulouse. Another artifact looks like Yervan. Artifact, very rare. It looks like Yervan was taken by Patch Cootie. Inquisitors made it to Ziz. Excellent. So we've cleared out Catholicism out of here. We'll be able to pick up uh, our own religion here pretty soon. And then we have another Inquisitor in Lixis. We're doing the exact same thing. That is going to allow us to implement our own religion and then eventually buy 
Research Labs with Faith once we unlock that technology. We have more battleship ready for war. You're going to take a shot. Boom. Weakening the city. Uh, we have two ironclads ready to weaken the city as well. We have a bombard army. Boom. Just like that. We got a privateer. Bam. And bam. Working the city down. Let's pillage the mine for a little bit of gold. Boom. Is there any other mines? I don't see any other mines. Actually, there's a mine over here. So why don't we start heading in this direction? Maybe we can sneak around Paris. Finish the neighborhood in Beruda. Fantastic. Don't have replaceable parts. So we don't have access to the food market yet. I would like to start working things like specialist slots. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on science so that we fill those specialist slots in our cities with campuses. So I'm just gonna go through and see what cities um, can viably work those campus specialist slots. Like this city of Byblos doesn't have much food, so it doesn't make much sense to work the specialist slots. So I'm not gonna, gonna do that. But like cities like Cairo, five food is not terrible. If I work these specialist slot, I'm still making three food, also not terrible. Sinai, actually this food needs to focus on food. This city has, doesn't have a campus, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Doesn't have a campus, doesn't have a campus. Medina has a campus. It's not making much food. Um, we should probably focus it on food and we should probably start looking at picking up some builders in some of these cities. Also picking up oil power plants. And you know what? We are building a builder in Jeddah. We use the builder to fix up all these fishing boats. And we'll start working on an oil power plant in Medina. Once we finish this battleship, we're going to start working on an oil power plant in here as well. As well as in Nora, we're going to do the exact same thing. Once we finish the neighborhood, oil power plant. Now, Gadir has our religion. Fantastic. Which means now we can buy libraries and universities with faith. And why don't we build an industrial zone for this little island, we're going to place it right here. Boom. And we'll start working on that so that we can power all three of these cities. Ooh, we got Erwin Schrodinger, which is going to give us uh, triggers three different technologies. So let's go. So we got lasers, telecommunications, and rocketry. Perfect. Inquisitor implementing our religion in Ziz. We're going to do the exact same thing in Lixis. We should probably get an Inquisitor over here as well. So I think I have a holy site in here, which I do. Fantastic. So why don't we grab an Inquisitor in here? We'll send this Inquisitor over to these three cities and convert all three of these cities. So we boosted synthetic materials. We picked up class struggle. Um, I think I'm ready to switch over to communism soon. The plus five combat strength is really good. 50% production towards units is massive as well, which is insane. Uh, fascism is literally the best re uh, government for war, no doubt. Boom, dead, perfect. So I don't have to worry about him attacking my bombards or anything. Um, we're just gonna continue to take shots with whatever battleships. We can, we've weakened the city down to no health. Take the city of Toulouse, boom. I'm hoping that this helps the city of Lyon because it says that the city of Lyon is gonna flip in one turn. We'll keep the city. We need another governor over here. So why don't we put Victor in Lyon to hold down, oops, sorry, that was the wrong city. Uh, I was I meant to put him into Toulouse, but that's fine. Bring you forward. You're going to step in the city to hold down the loyalty. Hopefully this can change a little bit. I could plug in some sort of a loyalty card. Like Limitane wouldn't be so bad. Now, what would I trade instead? Force modernization maybe because I'm not actually upgrading units anymore. That seems fine. Otherwise, these are, are just fine. Uh, we need the extra coal for our military. Okay, Inquisitor's finally made it. Let's get rid of the old religion. Uh, we need to get another Inquisitor nice and close. Boom, cleared out their religion. Um, how's the loyalty in here? Still pretty bad. We have successfully defended our campus. We're going to renew that mission. And it looks like Leon did end up flipping, unfortunately. So if we can take this in one turn, that would be absolutely perfect. So why don't we spend all our shots taking back Leon, getting rid of these line infantry. We have three turns until Toulouse flips as well. We might be, we might be better off actually taking Nats just for the extra loyalty. So why don't we 
bring an ironclad over here. Uh, we, we will lose the spy, but that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, Royal Society's finished entire. Excellent. I really, so once we pick up plastics, I'm hoping that we, so what are we going to grab? We're going to do plastics into replaceable parts. So we'll have access to the food market. So we're going to be picking up food markets here pretty soon. Why don't I grab the Gudwara for some extra food in here and some extra housing? We have six envoys, which is quite a lot. Uh, we don't really need anything. I guess I could grab Suzerainty of Kugwana. I don't have enough envoys for that. But if I do, that would be a 15% boost across my entire empire of culture because we did take the Kilwa from France. Um, and we also have another governor title. I'm going to keep this governor title for now. Or what I could do is I could promote Victor with Garrison Commander, and that would give me plus four loyalty in all of the other cities within nine tiles. So let's do that because we have the Garrison Commander here. Going to be putting pressure on Toulouse. Hopefully that will hold it down. Our Inquisitors can convert to a religion. Hopefully that helps our loyalty a little bit. Oh my God, we just finished two Battleship Armadas. Jesus. Headed to the front line. Now we are um even for coal so we're not going to build any more naval units until we can get that figured out plus one era score for picking up plastics giving us access to the offshore oil well plus one food on fishing boats as well i actually didn't even realize that it did that that is pretty fucking based why don't we come over here to oil island we're going to place our oil well boom now we have access to oil and we're bringing the ironclad over here to take the city of nance uh let's do a little bit of damage on it we'll take the city thank you another trade route freed up we're going to put that trade route entire so that we can uh, centralize our production we have our spy here why don't we just continue to steal gold with our extra spies and we can start stealing gold from lady six sky or Pachacuti. 952 gold is pretty good oh <gasps> no there's a settler here shit ah uh, no don't do it don't do it dude god damn it all right we're gonna pick up an artifact it's going to be a barbarian artifact repairing all the boats for the extra food extra production we no longer need ching si, so i think i'm just going to take the 500 gold so the crasher did take a little bit of a shot but he survived so let's pillage for another 500 gold uh, we'll bombard the city with our bombards we're going to keep pillaging for a little bit of faith Hmm, looks like we need to escape on foot because we were stealing advanced ballistics and we've been captured. Damn it. Pachacuti is going to lose his shit. We'll attack Paris. Yeah, he's pretty pissed. Well, we'll take the Diplo favor. I mean, we could sell that Diplo favor for some gold. Um, sounds good to me. We're just going to kill Paris like so and then take Paris boom thank you very much for paris and that gives us access to the forbidden city so now we have an extra wild card policy slot which is super amazing our loyalty is holding up in some of our cities not this city but toulouse it's holding up nats it's not quite holding up why don't we spread a religion that will help a little bit in toulouse and then we need to send an inquisitor over here to convert reigns is doing okay you could probably use a governor in here as well why don't we put why don't we put pingalo over here in paris boom perfect and we need to repair the monument granary temple campus so reigns is going to be the next city we take once we take reigns we don't really need to take any more cities i mean they do have quite a bit of cities but for the extra wild card slot that we have we could grab five-year plan that increases our science by 54 science which is pretty incredible levy on mass increases our gold by 71 we are taking we are struggling with our gold income right now actually um so let's try to pick up as much gold as we can oh you know what that just needed to reset never mind we're making 524 gold that's pretty good but we still need as much gold as we can get and speaking of gold i'm going to sell my extra luxuries sell the diplo favor right now because we're doing we're making negative two 
Diplo favor means that we're just going to run out anyway. So we might as well sell it off for a little bit of gold. We're, we're working towards having enough gold to purchase a spaceport here pretty soon, which I think is going to be pretty soon. We're going to be picking up replaceable parts, sanitation, into chemistry, radio, into rocketry. And then we should probably pick up computers at some point as well so that we can build flood barriers. We're going to settle a tiny little city here. We got the city of IOL. And the reason why I want to settle the city is just so I can settle a city. Uh, we got a plus five coth in here, which is incredible. And then we have a plus four campus over here that we can take advantage of later on. Look at that beautiful tile. We have some extra lobster we can get rid of too. It's going to give us a little bit of gold. Oh my God, he didn't settle. So maybe we can settle Boom, right there. We got the city of Saxy, which is Saxy. We're going to pick up that oil immediately, pick up an oil here. He can still, actually, he can't settle this island. That is fantastic. Looks like the Gaul wants to pick up friendship. I am not really willing. The only thing I actually am willing to, because he's going to start getting grievances towards me. And once AI start taking grievances, uh, the problem is, is that they don't trade with you. Leon is finally leveled out here, so that is excellent news. And I'm gonna start working on, I would like to pick up Inquisitors. We should probably fix up the temple. All right, let's pillage this campus. We got replaceable parts now, which means I do wanna switch up my production entire. Yes, I wanna get a seaport eventually, but food market is important so that we can pick up extra food. And I'm gonna come through all of the cities that I had neighborhoods and just queue up food markets because it's super important to me that we get that extra food so that we can work the specialist slots in our campuses. Now this city needs a neighborhood and I could place a neighborhood here, but there is a risk that this city will flood. So instead of a farm, we'll place a neighborhood in here and then we'll pick up the food market and we got to do the same thing in here. Mm, the city does not have a neighborhood. It should have a neighborhood. And I think we're just going to place it right here. Food market. We got a campus. Let's place a neighborhood here instead of the settler. Same in Cairo. We're going to pick up a neighborhood and that's going to go right here. Have a campus, so we should work on a neighborhood. Working on the oil power plant. We're going to pick up a neighborhood in here as well. And that neighborhood's going to go right here. Pick up a neighborhood here. I did spend a little bit of gold on that, but that's all right. And another neighborhood. Okay, so we're building neighborhoods in most of our cities. We definitely want to build neighborhoods in cities that have a campus so that we can pick up the food market and use those, um, use the extra food to work specialist slots so that we can get that extra science. So plus two error score, we've built an oil power plant and we've boosted the Eureka for ballistics. Incredible. So why don't we start putting work in on rains just like so now we're working on picking up chemistry we're two turns away from picking up chemistry which is incredible pillage for science now one turn till we pick up chemistry even better another trade route finish in biblos put them into tire so we lost a unit uh that was the crasser yeah we expected that he actually stepped out which is perfect so there's chemistry because he was giving combat strength to the city of rain so we're gonna shoot Rains weakening the walls massively. I'm going to bring you forward. You can come over and shoot, weakening the city quite a lot. Hit the city with the ironclad. She wants to make peace. She's offering me a relic. I'm going to refuse this deal. Rapid deployment. We got ourselves a great artist. Th three turns away from the World's Fair ending, and it looks like we're going to win. That's a diplomatic. Victory point and 100 great people points as well. And I think we hit silver as well, which is 50 diplomatic favor and two civic boosts. Food market's finished entire, so we're making lots of extra food. We don't have a campus in here. We're four turns away from being able to purchase an industrial zone in here as well. So why don't we start working on an aquarium? That's going to line up really well. Then we could buy the industrial zone. We could buy all of the stuff for the industrial zone as well. Totally forgot about this. We have access to chemistry. So actually we can come through all of our cities as well and start purchasing research labs uh, with faith because we have Jesuit education and we have quite a lot of faith in the bank. So let's start doing that in every single one of our cities. And boom, and boom, 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 and 
boom. Now we no longer have any faith picking up the research labs. And now we're making 402 faith per turn. We're making 402 science per turn, sorry, which is incredible. We are second in science now. We have 52 techs. I think I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I appreciate you guys watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.